Folks, Saturday night, welcome aboard Murder Hobo Inc., the Calamity Edition, Calamity A side tonight, boys and girls. You know, those guys that are stuck in a city post destruction, post apocalyptic, covered in zombies, covered in zombie guts. Yeah, that one. Uh, tonight, new show, uh, new year, new player. So uh, Scott is uh, moving on to something else, uh, and his plans uh, don't include us. So hey, kiss our ass, Scott. <laughs> Uh, Scott has a personal project he's working on, so uh, rather than be hit and miss, he's going to step away, at least for the interim. So, folks, uh, welcome aboard Murder Hobo, Inc. New headset, so hopefully my voice is coming across okay. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. Uh, if you want to be on an episode, next Saturday is a one-shot. This Tuesday is an open between the roles. Uh, hit us up on Mobile Inc. Twitter. Shirt that uh, Dave's wearing, or um, Dave's wearing, or you know, foam cake, <laughs> or shower curtain, or anything else. Uh, the link is down there. Uh, if you're looking for more dice, and who isn't? Uh, hit up on Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. See if uh, they can make you cool custom dice like the yin and the yang. Uh, maybe they will, maybe they won't. Kind of hit and miss. Uh, and if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours does smell like success, you can try yourself some Odd Fish Games Adventure Sense, 60 mm. different scents. Uh, and they are wonderful, especially when you rewatch that episode where Kyle inhaled the uh, putrid sewers and nearly died literally nearly died on camera which was hilarious uh i highly <laughs> recommend watching kyle choke to death it was funny uh they also make something called the shine system so if you want to write adventures like me only gooder uh check out that and they have finished the domestic shipping for how to rpg with your cat so give it a couple days if you still haven't gotten it hit them up at, at oddfishgames.com uh that's it so uh before we recap and get into what the hell's going on let's introduce you to the cast we will start with uh the missing man there he is <laughs> rob <laughs> rob who are you and who do you play in this mess called calamity well first i have to unmute my microphone that would i'm work. rob uh you can find me on all them social things at cthulhu rob and um i play dave the <clears throat> low intelligence low charisma diplomat barbarian <laughs> well said i couldn't have said it any other better ways none whatsoever uh the new player taking the place of rock here aka scott is kevin kevin you aren't with the group yet but That's who fine. are you playing hi uh, i'm kevin and i'm playing the mysterious tall we'll see what he's all about when he arrives i am uh, found on social media kev ran games i have my own podcast as well but uh Tonight I'm just here to pitch awesome. the podcast. Pitch the yeah, podcast. yeah, Game Night Heroes. We uh we do some story based RT RTB whatever it is TT RPG. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna say. So you have a hobo. There's already. a Q in there somewhere. That's right. right. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, we're just telling good stuff. But yeah, I'm super excited to be here, and I'm super excited to be uh, joining these awesome dudes. I've been on here before a couple of the one shots on the special uh, off week stuff. So hopefully I can. Uh, fit right in we'll see how it goes welcome to the old uh, farts club well, <laughs> kevin's got an a lot of chapstick for all that ass. <laughs> <laughs> right uh, david you're up next same questions different answers hi i'm david you can find me uh here on calamity the a side and b side plus i'm in the cacophony show our our attempts at a soap <laughs> opera that turned into a campaign that's turning into, I don't know, just a long going <laughs> endless cycle of misadventures. Anyway, uh, yes, you can also find me on Between the Rules on Tuesdays, usually. Uh, and yeah, um, when I'm not screwing up by Iron DM like I did last time. Really so. Really, really bad. bad. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's me. And if you want to follow me, I'm uh, D and Devious on uh, the Twitterverse. So nicely said. Go. Last but certainly not least, Jesse. Who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Jesse. I uh, you can find me on all the socials at Jr. Wooey. Um, I play the uh, Leonin uh, Ranger Azari, uh, leading us through this particular shithole 
gracefully as possible, I might add. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's the word I'd use. <laughs> <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh, yes, one can only tiptoe through shit so long. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, all the grace of a one-legged man walking through a cow pasture. <laughs> 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 Folks, this is the calamity campaign. These guys are post-apocalyptic, as they've kind of figured out after a while. Uh, Dave, Ingve, and Azari grew up in the land of Ba, aka a mountain filled with uh, caves. Real, real upper crust society there, but they were happy. They were peaceful. Uh, they, Rakir, and their good friend Dolph, rest in peace, uh, <laughs> all grew up there. Uh, if you haven't watched it, all of the items are either on the audio only podcast, in our YouTube archive, if you want to see the money makers, whatever. Long story short, they are headed to and have arrived in the city of. Your, Y-O-R, maybe something else. They aren't really sure. Uh, only one of them can read now. <laughs> Who can read? Just just Azari, right? Just Azari. 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 Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's because I wasn't brought up in public schools. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the public school system in Ba was, mm, so yeah, it was probably Catholic. last. <laughs> Azari, Azari went to private schools. There we go. Oh, very, very Dave, good. have good education. <laughs> He's trying to Inga, take care Inga of his learning. <laughs> uh, Azari's uh, sister uh, has succumbed to a ghost on an island, and she is still quite comatose. Uh, there was a small problem in the homeland, uh, and these guys have had to go out on their own. On the last one, not the other yeah. Uh, okay. It's like crispity crunchity. Uh, well, folks, give me just a second. We're going to switch. Feel free to discuss among yourselves. <laughs> oh, the joy of technical difficulties. Yes. Yeah. Tell us all your secrets, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Secrets. Well, so in 1986, I was walking along. And what? Oh, sorry. Frank's back. That Let's one time I was at a Cure concert. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about things I've done at a Cure concert. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, wow. <laughs> this took a dark turn. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I was, it is uh, the Cure. I was making a joke. Is it right? <laughs> right. Yeah, that's the Cure. Can you guys hear me now? Yep. Yeah. I'm okay. Really Okay, back to normal. Uh, these guys found themselves in the middle of the city called Yor, and they were attacked by zombies tried to make a break for it. Uh, zombie dragon came into play. There was some rigmarole. There might have been a homicide committed by Rakir. Uh, there's no law, so no law was broken. Uh, these guys uh, last encountered a lot of beating on the door in what is a hotel room, uh, a seedy hotel at best. Uh, and these guys have thrown themselves up against the door while Rakir went for uh, help, I guess. Uh, we aren't really sure, but he went out the window and up. Uh, we begin. Everybody, well, Dave, Ingve, and Azari roll D12s, please. Uh, nine. Same. Nine. Uh, Eleven. Ingve uh, did not have the constitution to hang on. Uh, due to injuries, you fell asleep first, uh, followed by Dave and Azari, who uh, warmed themselves and listened to elevator music. Uh, the three of you wake up the next morning. <laughs> Rakir is still not around. <laughs> <laughs> Rakir is still not around. Uh, there is light outside. All three of you are still bracing the door. No noise whatsoever. So the, the banging has stopped. <laughs> well, <clears throat> congratulations on another night of survival, yeah. gentlemen. <laughs> uh, question, Frank. What, what time was it that our encounters started last time? Uh, according to Timex watch, it was 8 p.m. Okay, and that's when the shit hit the fan was at 8 p.m., right? Yep, about. Okay, and, and it's morning now, right? Mm -hmm. So, 
Okay. I'm going to go Yngwie take a... Oh, go ahead, Yngwie. Uh, Yngwie takes note of that. <laughs> sure. I'm going to go take a peek out the window, see if there's still zombies afoot walking around. Actually, as you do, go ahead and give me an investigation check since you're investigating. <laughs> I should have really taken up that as a skill because I've done a fuckload <laughs> of it. Uh, oh, that's a 12? Uh, you notice that the buildings on the other side appear to be crumbled down. So that first floor canyon that you were in, uh, uh-huh. whereas you guys climbed the fire escape or whatever you want to call that ladder and made it into the second floor, second floor across the street is gone. Uh, looking down to the right, uh, you see uh, pieces of bodies everywhere. Clearly the dragon-esque creature uh, did a number on the zombies. Uh, there are pieces everywhere. It's very still. Uh, it's very quiet. There's nothing moving around. Give me uh, one more investigation check as you look to the left. Okay. And then I'll also look skyward to see if I see the uh, dragon sure. thing. Oh, that's better. Natural 20, so 21. You see a light being reflected. Uh, so as you look straight out, crumbled building all the way down to the first floor, right, pieces of zombies, left, across the street, there's a shining, a shitting, if you're uh, a family guy or watcher. Ah, uh, the shitting. Yeah. Uh, coming from left and corner, so across the avenue, if you will. Across the path, since you guys don't know any better. Is the shining, uh, I'll watch it for a, for a minute, is it like in a pattern, or is it just uh, random? Just kind of a flickering. Okay. Uh, and then skyward, no dragon. Okay. I will come back in to the right. Uh, Dave's um, already stripped down to his skivvies, which he forgot. So, congrats. Uh, <laughs> Mazel tov, Dave. Uh, to the right, uh, bodies. To the left, a shining. Something is shiny. A light is shining in that general direction. And no dragons in the sky. Dave need baths. Well, so you, you, there... you have your choice. The door is still there. Well, we can, uh, if you want to clean up, Dave, I don't know where you would. Um, <laughs> as I don't see a river nearby. <laughs> He's got a water skin and, and a washcloth. Go, go for it, dude. <laughs> Oh, you better save water for drinking. Yeah. Uh, our options are to the we can go back towards the bodies, we can go towards the light, or we can go through this door and see what lies on the other side. Um, Rakir went up. And yeah. Rakir hasn't come back in the last 12 hours. Door. <laughs> door. Uh, door. Sure. Door is the closest. Yeah. Huh? Well, if something else is through there, we can always come back the way we came. Yep. As as you open up the door, who's going to open it? Uh, Dave, a, open door. Give me a perception check, Dave. Okay. I will. Okay. Uh, uh, the short uh, 17. Huh? Uh, you see a hand. What was that again, Azari? I just have my short swords out just in case there's... Fair enough. Uh, Dave, there is a... yay much of a hand. Uh, there's a blood trail to your right. Directly ahead of you is a set of stairs that lead down and up. Are we in, like, dim light situation uh, in the... The interior the- hallway is dim. Okay. Um, Azari, do we go up or down? Well, uh, unless you can, uh, I'd say we go down and stick to the floor path. We, we, at least we can move from there. If we go up, we don't know if we'll get stuck up there. Can see more from high. We can see more. 
Well, we can go up and see if we can get to the top. Kyle, you have a message. Let's go up then. Yeah. Yep. Um, up you go. Yep. I'll take. Uh, I'll take point. <clears throat> there is a lot of dried blood, both going down and going up. Uh, there's sinew and things of that nature, um, but you guys do not hear anything okay. uh, as you go up. Uh, you get to that landing. There's another set of stairs that go up. But as you look out on this landing, it's pretty much the same design. Very dim, very dark, a door directly ahead of you, a hallway going down. Let's see if we can get all the way to the top where we can get out into the sunlight. Uh, Zari, Ingve, Dave, stealth rolls, please. <laughs> Uh, 23. Uh, 19. Uh, 25. Wow, you guys are silent as church mice. Uh, <laughs> you get up to the fourth floor, same thing. Uh, wonder how many, how high this goes. Uh, keep going. Uh, fifth floor, same thing. Uh, let's go all the way to the top, see if we can reach it anytime soon. Sixth floor, it bottoms out. There is uh, no stairway going up. However, there appears to be a ladder uh, directly against the wall, leading to a square hatch in the ceiling. Very dark up here. I've got dark vision. I'll go up. Okay. You go up, and it's a very simple latch system, even for Dave to figure out. Uh, it appears to be holding the square thing shut. Everybody, uh, Dave, Ingve, and Azari, give me constitution rolls. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Here hey, we go. I'm proficient in those. You better be. <laughs> There's the first nat 20 of the night. <laughs> that gives me a 26. Wow. Uh, 16. Poor Dave 16. can't even really get drunk properly. Yeah. Ingve? 10. Uh, Ingve, Dave uh, opens up that square thing and light just cascades down and you're, what the hell's going on? Uh, Azari grabs a hold of your shoulder to steady you and laughs at you. Uh, <laughs> Dave, outside, uh, blue sky, uh, a nice breeze, uh, everything around this square opening is like pebbles. There are tiny rocks. And I'll climb out. You climb out and you have what can only be considered an amazing view of this landscape. Your is sprawling. It is huge. A lot of the parts of it are destroyed. Uh, give me an investigation check. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Um, I got a seven. Nine you don't 20. see Dick. Uh, <laughs> Ingve and Azari, are you guys going up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. You guys go up. Uh, the sunlight's really bright, uh, Ingve. Uh, you're still trying to get your bearings. You got a lot of spots going on. You roll a natural 20, but I'm going to make you roll at disadvantage since you're blinded. So sure. go ahead and re-roll. And uh, Azari, uh, investigation. Double nat 20? I, ah. I, uh, <laughs> Yikes. I just got a nat 20. <laughs> All right. 21. Uh, I thought he got a nat 20. <laughs> yeah. So you guys go ahead and take a look at this. It's about 100 feet wide, maybe 60 feet uh, long, give or take. Uh, and you guys are looking around. It's a beautiful day. I mean, the sun's shining. It's still low in the sky, but it's a beautiful morning. There's a fresh breeze. I mean, you haven't smelled this since the plains. As you go ahead and search around, Ingve nearly takes a header six stories up because <laughs> uh, he's still blinded by the light. But Azari, as you come to the far end, uh, you look over and you see movement down below about four stories. Like... Uh... 
Does it it's, resemble it's, the? It's bipedal, uh, but it, it's big. It's it's definitely not wreck here. Uh, single something, sure. sing, single individual bipedal large looks weird there's something about it that's not right it appears to be getting uh, breakfast cooking some kind of fire down yeah. below okay yeah uh, down below on a floor or it's on the, the roof r- roof of the second story oh okay. of, of the adjacent building Got it. and you once you hear of this, go wandering over. Go ahead and give me another D20. If you roll another natural one, I'm pitching you off the side. <laughs> Ooh, four stories. Ow. <laughs> uh, any modifiers? <laughs> nope, just straight up D20. Ten. Okay, you're fine. Uh, Azari stops you before you go wandering off. Uh, Dave, you are also alerted to this. And as you guys creep over to the edge... Uh, the edge has kind of a built-up rail kind of thing uh, for people like Ingve who are blind and want to die. Uh, so all three of you are kind of looking over like the scarecrow, the tin yeah. man, and the lion. Uh-huh. And you see this individual <laughs> just kind of cooking. Okay. I can I can get a closer look from here. Sure. Uh, In uh, another part of this world, Tall, uh, you have awoken... You're hurt, uh, not severely. You've lived through the night. Uh, you see a strange flicker of something. Uh, it's almost a reflection. Uh, to you, uh, this landscape is foreign. You spent most of the night running for your life. Um, but now where you are at, you are safe. But there's this flickering. I... I think it's strange. I don't know exactly why the flickering would be here all of a sudden. Last mm-hmm. night when I passed out, I was alone. And so now there's movement. I'm going to move to take a look outside and see how the hordes are doing. So I hold on to my side and I partially limp over to the side and look outside to see what's going on. Uh, as you look outside, you put your hands down on the window so to brace yourself. D12 against me. Let's see if there's bird poo on you. Oh, no. <laughs> A three. Yep, there's bird poo on you. Uh, so you put your hand squarely in the bird poo, look around. Uh, the horde that was chasing you is now no longer gone. This environment is particularly strange to you. You were not familiar with this at all. It, you have a backstory, a history on it, and we'll go ahead and follow it for right now. But you do know that as of right now, you're kind of safe. What would you like to do? Well, I take a deep breath. I sigh and I let go of a little bit of the tension. I wasn't sure what I was going to wake up to. And yeah, wipe <sighs> off the bird poop for sure. <laughs> I, uh, I uh, just start getting ready for the day. I know that I have to probably would have better luck moving during the day because they're not going to be able to see me as well. Mm-hmm. But I'm still feeling a little bit weak. Um, do I have an idea of how injured I am? Perhaps I should... You're above See, half. Yeah, you're above half. See. So, And actually, with the, uh, you know what, minus five for right now. Because you had the long rest last night, so you'll be okay. So I would say just minus five. Okay. Because you, you got the shit kicked out of you pretty bad. Sure. Okay. So then, uh, yeah, I'm going to see if I can find out anything else going on in this town, in, in this city. Um, there's still work to be done. So I'm going to try to do it. Uh, from where you came in, this structure of some kind uh, does have an intact roof. You may be able to look at it from there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I will move away the things that I barricaded against the door mm-hmm. uh, as best I could before I passed out from the exhaustion, from the injury. <coughs> and I will make my way up to the roof so that I can look out and see what's going on. Plus, that's where I saw that light flickering. So maybe there'll be clues with that, too. Sure. Give me a stealth check. Sure. 17 plus three is a 20. Uh, You silently move your way through. There are several dead bodies where you were at. Your mind's still a little bit foggy and you can't remember if you're responsible for killing these things or if they died or if 
you had to walk over them. Hey, your life's pretty much a haze at this point in time. Uh, you find a uh, 45 degree angle staircase at the back of this building. Uh, you know that there are a lot of tools in this building, uh, but you're you're not really a craftsman with these tools, so you don't know what they are. I see. Um, I'll just begin to make my way up. Uh, the second floor looks more of a residential area, uh, and you find four bodies. Uh, the first three bodies uh, all have one injury right about chest level. Uh, the fourth one has no head on it. Uh, next to it, the body is a cylindrical metal object uh, with wood brocade. Hmm. I'll reach down and I'll very gingerly pick it up and inspect it. I'll actually sniff it and rub it through my hands, see if I can kind of get an idea of what's going on with it. D12. 12. 12. Another three. The metal end, as you hold on to it, Smells strongly of a of a sulfuric nature. Uh, as you look down the tube, <laughs> you can see that uh, something is blocking the light. Uh, as you twist it around, the wood uh, uh, smells like body odor. Hmm, I see. Well, I do take a little bit of comfort with the sulfur smell. It reminds me of home. So um, I'm I'm intrigued by this. Um, I'll tuck it into my pack. Now, it's on about three and a half feet long. Oh, okay. I'll just kind of shove it across my back between sure. where my shield is strapped on over my cloak. Mm -hmm. I just kind of brace it and uh, just keep climbing. Okay. I know that uh, treasures like this may be helpful later. So That's true. Uh, as you climb the stairs on the second floor, you come into a small closed off alcove with a single door and no window. It is dark, but you can see. Okay. The door is locked or it's just Nope, I'm locked. Okay. I just I'll peek through just to make sure there's nothing. I'm just being very cautious as I move around uh, with my time where where I'm from. You can't exactly let your guard down at any moment and sure. especially with what happened recently, I don't want to do that even more. So Yeah. <laughs> just be very cautious. That's fair. Uh you open it up, you don't see any movement. Uh you open it further and <laughs> Uh, birds, small birds, small gray birds, uh, take off en masse and uh, go across the street. Uh, up top, you are on a, a completely black roof. It is a strange fabric. There are small puddles in various spots. Uh, some dirt, some bird poop, some dead birds. Uh, other than that, you have a squared off area that you can roam around and look around at. Okay. Are any of the birds fresh enough that they can make a breakfast for me? Uh, you'll have to be a really good shot because they are flying off. So if you want to give it a shot, go ahead. Uh, well, all I have are javelins. I don't want to waste one in case I miss. I'm not a great shot. Um, how about any of the dead birds? Uh, D12 against me. Oh, no. <laughs> 11. Uh, 11 as well. Uh, maybe one of them is probably fresh. Okay, I'll uh, I'll attempt to maybe get a fire going, sure. and I'll try to I'll try to cook it. Cool, that works. Uh, Dave, Ingve, Azari, investigation check as you peer down on this suspicious person. Minus one. <laughs> Spitting. <laughs> Nine. Ten. Uh, as Dave dribbles a wad of spit to see how far he can get it over, uh, Ingve, uh, pursuant to Azari's comment from earlier, you look across the street because you've got a much better vantage point. You do not see any flickering lights, so Azari... Uh, Azari, <laughs> with your ten, uh, you notice that this bipedal individual is just cooking something. Uh, as the smell wafts up, go ahead and give me a constitution check. 
Uh, Ingve, you as well. Oh. 16. <clears throat> uh, Constitution, 16. At this point in time, uh, flesh from the zombies being cooked would smell good. So whatever this thing is cooking smells good enough. Okay. Okay. Uh, the individual has several items, uh, tools potentially, uh, no shrunken heads or anything weird like that, uh, and appears to be alone. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go down the uh, back Whoa. to the floors, back to the area we came from, and get across to meet this person. Well, I have a way that we can kind of check it out first and see. I can summon a raven and look through its gaze and try to get a better look at this person, I believe. What person? Oh, sorry. Dave, <laughs> over there, someone is cooking. Um, it would be advantageous if we make our way there. Oh, now, uh, Ingve and Azari, as you look over the side, you can see those rectangular openings go all the way down the building. And if you could count, which is already can, uh, there are four. So we need to go down four of these spaces? I'll um, take a wisdom check. Fourteen? <laughs> uh, yeah, close enough. You think... Carry the six. Not many. Minus. Yeah, carry the six. Uh, new math. Minus uh, the 12. Yeah. He's doing core math. Do, go, yeah, go down the first column, go down the second, divide by 16. <laughs> sign, uh, sign, sign tangent. Yeah. Carry a one. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> Close your yeah. so you, Yeah, so you surmise that if you go down four levels uh, about where you were uh, and go that way, those rectangular things that are transparent would probably put you dead on. Or you can go with Ingve's raven idea. Or we can use the raven. Yes. Would like to use the raven? I can summon the raven. Uh, let's start making our way there and you can summon the raven. You summon the raven and have it check it out and we'll make our way there. Sure. Um, so that way <laughs> that way we're <laughs> Two birds, one stone, as it were. Now keep in mind, seeing through the raven's eyes, Ingve cannot see when he does that. <laughs> yeah, I cannot see. I'm blinded. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so we'll need to be at a at a vantage point to where we can stop while I do this. So, well, we don't need to stop. You just can't move, or you can't walk. Well, we are. You can, too... you can put a hand on your shoulder and go down the stairs. Dave and oh, I are both. Uh, healthy individuals we can carry you while you well <laughs> sure we're, that. we're gonna send out the drone you know yes. yeah i just i just scoop ingve up before this is even decided oh, from over my shoulder uh, okay. start heading down the stairs we're doing this then okay get the raven get the raven <laughs> Sorry, now, do. now remember the the first thing is a ladder so do you want to like climb down the ladder first and then have them carry you down the stairs Yes. Or do you want to let them carry you down the ladder, which is how about we how about <laughs> how about this? We you go, go down, down the ladder. Yeah. Down the ladder. <laughs> you start the raven, we'll leave the hatch open. You can okay. you can let the raven we'll let the raven out and then mm -hmm. we'll carry you from there. Okay. Put, put Ingve down. Yes, uh, yes please. <laughs> <laughs> so once you pick up Ingve, uh, you're gonna go down four flights. Uh, Dave and Azari give me four sets I'll give you a break on this four sets rolling d20 at the same time if any of you get a one just straight up d20 if any of you get a one you're going to drop anything four of them just one at a time though so okay love Ooh, it that was, that was close that was a four <laughs> second Thirteen. Uh, my worst roll is a five. Uh, two more, Azari. Three. Ooh, some some of Azari's like <laughs> dialing it in. <laughs> Seventeen to finish it off. Nice, very nice. You guys will get down there. Uh, Tall. 
Uh, <laughs> you're cooking this this dead pigeon essentially. Uh, and again, you're hurt, you're tired, you're scared, you're hungry. Sure. Uh, this thing's going to be delicious. However, a new food source appears in yeah, the that's... form of a swarm of corvid uh, yeah. black crows. Uh, so they are flittering about. Uh, seem to be chasing each other essentially. Uh, so if you want to take that javelin <laughs> throw at one of them, that'd be fine now. <laughs> <laughs> um, of course, yeah. you knew I was going to do it, David. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> I will. I'll very slowly uh, practice. I'll remove one of the javelins off to the back where I've placed that weird item I found. I'll mm -hmm. pull it out from right next to it and I'll very slowly creep forward so I have a nice, close enough shot sure. and I'll let loose. Uh, so that they are zigzagging formation. You and I are going to roll a D8 together. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what my roll is. And okay. then you try and hit your target. So D8. Okay. You want to know my roll, though, correct? Yep. My roll is a one on that D8. Okay. And uh -oh. see if you can hit this Corvid. Okay. The roll for the attack is a 19. Ooh. Nice. Uh, right through the chest, man. That thing drops. Your javelin sticks into the rooftop here, uh, just a scant few feet away. A uh, couple flaps from the wings, and the bird goes limp. I'll walk up, and I'll just pull the javelin free. I'll look at the, the bird, and I'll say, thank you, friend. And I'll scoop it up, and I'll start carrying it back to the fire. And I do look at it kind of strangely. Do I recognize, are these, these are birds that would be around in this mm -hmm. world? This isn't like something strange, right? No, not okay. bizarre at all. Okay. I'll return uh, the fire. <clears throat> cool. Azari and Dave. You get to that rectangular thing, <laughs> and you can you can now see this individual clearly. Uh, you don't know what it is. <laughs> it's not a human. Uh, it has dark reddish, ruddy features, uh, uh, among some other anomalies. Uh, Dave and Azari, go ahead and give me investigation rolls. Maybe, it's not a gopher. <laughs> it is not a gopher. <laughs> it's not Geb's cows either. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. 20. Not natural. Hmm. Dave, get 20, then nice. minus 2. 18. <laughs> uh, as the figure outside uh, continues to do their cooking, uh, it turns its back to you, and you notice, Dave, that that cylindrical thing that you got a while back yeah this thing's got one too so maybe this is an owner wait hmm. Hmm. oh uh before we put it down Inge. they think something but not know what <laughs> Uh, you put Azari down or Ingve down. Uh, Ingve, you pretty much see the same thing. Your bird uh, is moving very fast for some reason. You don't know why, uh, but it is hauling the mail. Uh, <laughs> are you still going to look? Or are you going to release it? Uh, I'm. I'm still going to look. Okay. Yeah. It. You're seeing a lot of shit around this city, mm -hmm. and then you see something weird. Okay. Uh, it's not on this rooftop. It's on another rooftop. Uh, but your bird is all over the place. Are okay. you able to command it and send it back over? Uh, yes, I am. Okay. Uh, as you do, you kind of get a glancing view of more corvids chasing your thing, your mm -hmm. raven. Uh, and as you send it back over, you see an individual wearing a heavy cloak over a cooking pot. Uh, a lot of tools. Uh, you don't know what this thing is, though. It, too, is bipedal. Uh, it's got uh, a rusty colored flesh, uh, and it looks like it's just cooking something. Uh, as your bird continues to move, you realize that it is across the street. Okay. Okay. So you have one outside the rectangular window mm -hmm. here and a similar one over to the right. Okay. So there's 
two individuals. It's so so it's far, if, if, if you let your raven continue on, you might find more. Hard okay. to say. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll let it continue. So okay. let the corvids chase it around. It'll be good cover for it. <clears throat> cool. Tall. Yes. D6 against me. Okay. Six. Fair enough. Uh, incoming message for you. Okay. Dave wants to look around to see if there's something heavy that he can pick up besides Ingve. There's a chair <laughs> here. I'm going to pick that chair up. Then I'm going to try and break that clear rectangle. Sure. Because I, I saw broken ones, so I know they can be broken. Sure. Give me a strength check. Okay. Um, that's, well, plus four is 23. <clears throat> oh, yeah. You, you shatter the shit out of that window. Uh, the individual. Yes. Tall. Hi, I'm Dave. You shatter. You send the chair through. Glass goes everywhere. The individual whips around. And I, I need to wait for an answer. Oh, I thought that was my answer. Oh, okay, okay, that's good. Uh, as you turn around, you guys have never seen anything like this. Uh, Tal, go ahead and describe yourself. Sure. What you guys are going to see is a humanoid. I am uh, about 5'10", you would guess. I've got very dark um, red skin. There is... Uh, tinges of black around the edges of my features almost looks like it's burnt um, kind of strange looking I have a hood on that's masking most of my features but you see there's some strange um, deformities of sorts it would look like around the chin and up near my eyes and going up into the forehead section that is beginning to be hidden by the hood I'm wearing armor you think it looks like basically if a street urchin gathered up a bunch of rusty remnants of armors and put them together to try to make an actual suit out of it, uh, like a chain shirt would probably be the closest equivalent it would be. Um, one of my arms is bound up from the elbow to the wrist with looks like bindings of sorts. Then I have a big blood um, soak across the left part of my stomach like maybe i've been injured recently and i turn i've got a shield strapped to my back with a couple of javelins and as i turn i'm reaching for a flail that's attached to my belt Ingvay, give me an investigation check okay uh let's see investigation is uh 18 as your raven floats to and fro, left and right, up and down, uh, it heads back across the street. The individual on this rooftop is pulling forth a cylindrical object, similar to what Dave has strapped to his back, and he is taking aim across the street. And if memory serves, that's where you guys are at. Okay. <laughs> Everybody roll initiative. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh, no. Hey, my first nap 20 of the night. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going well, to tell nice you, with you guys not natural. Paul <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ingve and Azari? Paul uh, is coming in with a nine, unfortunately. <laughs> you're screwed. Yeah. Uh, 15. 15. Ingve? Uh, Ingve's got a 19. Very good. Uh, Tal, did you do up a second character? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we always uh, did. <laughs> uh, as the individual on the rooftop with you guys spins around, Ingve is still doing his Viking thing. He is useless. Dave, you haven't stepped out yet. Azari, you were probably next to Dave. Uh, you, Dave, you notice that the individual is arming itself. Uh, and then everybody hears a loud crack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ow. Sorry, that's that's gonna be bad. Uh, 
Dave with the other 20, uh, the individual directly outside the window is struck and blood splatters everywhere uh, from its shoulders. Uh, Tal, give me a D20, please. Oh, boy. All right. Just a D20 straight is a nine. Straight up. Uh, Dave, the individual outside on the roof drops its flail as blood spurts out of its shoulder. What would you like to do? Um, well, I can see where he was hit, so I know where <coughs> whatever it is came from. Mm -hmm. I would like to look that way. Okay. Give me an investigation check there, Brainiac. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's not going to be that bad. 15. You see a flash of, of like sunlight hitting something like metal, sunlight hitting metal or something across the street. I'm going to huck a javelin at it. Well, you got to step out first. So okay. give, me a give me a dexterity check and then wing that javelin. Uh, that's uh, 18 plus two. Is it? it gives me dex yep. is 20. Yep. And uh, wing that javelin. Ooh, uh, that is a 16. Okay. Uh, not quite far enough there, Muscles. Uh, Ingve, uh, uh, your, your raven comes back over uh, just as the individual on your roof is hit with blood splatter. You also see Dave wing the javelin just underneath your bird. Unfortunately, uh, and as you spin back around, because you're still being chased, you can see the individual on the other side with the metal item. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm just gonna take it that that's he's gonna attack with <coughs> something with mm -hmm. Ingve's limited knowledge of <coughs> things that go wrong. Thing. <laughs> so. <laughs> Because because we've run into that device before with the the whoppers, so mm -hmm. whoppers or whatever you call them. Whoppers. So, so I am going to yeah tap to distract that guy with uh, leading the flock of corvids and like kind of standing its ground with the floor, you know, like birds fight, birds awesome. fighting in we'll, midair. We'll like hitchcock right this guy. <laughs> sure, oh, I, I like that idea, uh, Azari. Uh, Dave has nimbly jumped out the window and you saw him huck a javelin, but go. Ugh. So eh, he probably missed. Okay. Um, I'll follow across with Dave. Uh, dexterity check first. Okay. <coughs> uh, do, 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 22. Oh, yeah. You get out. Okay. And then uh, I... You've got the injured individual who's leaning, holding its shoulder has dropped a weapon or something, some kind of tool. Yeah. Uh, they're in play across the way. You don't know uh, what's going on. And that's on. where the flickering light is, right? Yeah, actually, it was in the same spot as you saw earlier. I'm going to fire an arrow at the flickering light. Go ahead. Okay. And I'm going to use a sharpshooter for this. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Nice. Uh, 17? Uh, no. 17 uh, misses? 17 misses. It skitters across uh, the roof. Uh, just as you loose your arrow, the arrow goes true, but hits one of the other birds chasing Ingve's raven, and it death spirals into the street. Gotcha. Tall, something yes. has hit you. You are bleeding. You are injured. Three hit points. Yeah. Uh, and you got jack holes coming out of this window, <laughs> yeah. uh, throwing shit. And whatever got you is across the street. Okay. There, I see. It. So there's two of them that have come out at me then. I'm going to mm -hmm. quickly surmise what's going on. I'm going to try to look around real quickly. Is there any place I can duck in behind? quickly to prevent that thing from hitting me again. Yes. Uh, the small box that you came up out of, mm -hmm. uh, consider it, you know, like a New York style shed. Uh, gotcha. You can dive behind that. 
Okay. Uh, you can go prone because like the sixth floor, there's the handhold around the way. So you can either go prone or skitter over towards the shed. Yeah, I'm going to move in, try to move in over behind the shed because that'll also put me in a way to where I'm going to be behind them as they come out of that opening. Mm -hmm. Correct? Okay, so I'm going to try to do that. Sure. Uh, you do that. You use your movement. Uh, you're not hampered because it's a shoulder wound. Ingve, uh, the eyes show you, you are just swarming in. Uh, roll initiative separately for this group of Corvid. Um, Should have used seagulls, well, man. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. You see, and this is important, this creature pull on that wooden thing mm -hmm. and pull back, and then you see a burst of flame. One to two, Dave. Uh, three to four, or yeah. One to two, Dave. Three to four, Azari. Five, at disadvantage on Tal. Six, the Corvid crew. <laughs> uh, roll a D8, uh, Ingve. <laughs> See which one of the Corvid crew get hit. <laughs> oh, man. All right. All right. Uh, three. Everybody hears a crack. Uh, Dave, you see this swarm of birds headed right for him. Azari, you see this swarm of birds headed down for him. Tal, you're kissing the shed. You, you don't feel anything, so you're pretty sure you didn't get hit. And Ingve, you can see. <laughs> because your raven took one to the head. So okay. it is down. <laughs> Uh, the rest of the Corvids, however, I will make a morale check to see what happens. Uh, okay. Other 20, Dave. Uh, the individual that you observed initially has crawled over to a small structure. Uh, does not appear to be aggressive. Uh, it appears to be wounded. Uh, could still be a foe. You aren't sure. Yeah, but there's the one with the ranged weapon that's bugging Dave. So sure. I'm going to return fire with my javelin. Sure. That's why I carry four. And as you surmised, uh, 18 is what's going to hit this thing. Well, that's a 16 and plus six makes it a 22. There you go. <clears throat> oh, that's all. Oh, what is that? 1d6 piercing damage? Yes. 1d6 plus seven piercing. Oh, no. Plus four piercing. Sorry. Plus seven. Ooh. Where's that murder hope die? <laughs> oh, that's a murder stuff. hobo! <laughs> Ten <laughs> points of damage, Ooh. piercing nice. in nature. Azar, I'm sorry, Ingve. The fuck happened to my bird? Uh, you find yourself, <laughs> you find yourself looking at Dave and Azari's butts as mm -hmm. they're outside this fractured <laughs> rectangle. Uh, you don't, you don't see this this dude that was there earlier. Okay. You got no idea where they're at. Did, uh, did I get a good look at the creature that uh, attacked everybody? The... Give me an investigation check because okay. it was wearing a hood as well. Okay. Uh, that would be 14. Nope. You didn't see it. Okay. Right. You know, it's got the dark reddish skin, blah, 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 but that right. had a big, big robe on. Okay. All right. Uh, but uh, I, I have my bearings and I know where it is, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You you know from A, what you saw, and B, Dave and Azari going that way. Okay. I'm going to use my movement to join Dave and Azari. Dexterity check to get out the window? Sure. Because it's not a walkout. And... No. <laughs> uh, 19. 19. Oh, yes. Yeah. None of you cut yourselves going over the window. That's the plus side. Uh, you you are now outside. Dave has just chucked a javelin. What do you want to do? Okay. And I see that individual that, that fired its weapon. You quickly garner in. 
Okay. Uh, how far away is it? Across the street, uh, maybe uh, two hundred feet. feet, maybe oh. maybe one hundred and fifty feet. Uh, that's that's okay. If it was one twenty, I could hit it. But <laughs> I'll give you one twenty. You give me one twenty. I'm okay. not a city engineer by any stretch of the imagination. No, no, don't know how how long that uh, egress is between the buildings and stuff. <laughs> that's right. Uh, let's see. Okay, that um, it'll have to do a Constitution save of fourteen. Four on the die. I think it's going to fail. Okay. <laughs> you see Ingvig just kind of grafts his hands like that, and you just see this big shaft of just silvery light just flood the individual. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he got the shaft. He got the shaft. <laughs> so uh, it will take the brunt of uh, uh, nine points of radiant damage. And that beam is still on him. So, does it give advantage to any other attacks? Uh, let's see. Uh, well, unless it's a shapeshifter, that's the only thing. Does it get an advantage or disadvantage? Um, if it's no, a shape, okay. If it's a shapeshifter, it gets knocked out of uh, its shifted oh, form. Mm -hmm. Okay, Azari. 15, uh, you still have threat one up against the shed. Threat two is across the street, bathed in light. So you're shooting at Jesus. Uh, let's take a shot at Jesus. Nice. I'm an atheist, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to hell for that one. Yeah. <laughs> but I, okay. That's <laughs> but he doesn't believe are, in that. Right. It's, a, yeah. it's a construct. What's, what's a, what's a, it's your eight, own thing. Eight, 18 to hit him. Okay, 18 to hit him. Think, come on. Stop. Cocked. Cocked. Uh, I think that'll do it. Uh, 23 to hit. That will do it. Okay. So. Uh, two plus six points of piercing damage from the arrow. Uh, the individual falls from view. Uh, it, like your rooftop, has the ledge. Uh, you don't know if they're rearming, but you now know that they were smart enough to go down. Uh, the Corvids uh, say, fuck this place, <laughs> and, God, and break saying. off with the two. <laughs> uh, Tal, uh, you're hurt. You're yep. injured. You're scared. There are three murderous, maniacal jackasses on the roof with you. They've already damaged property. I mean, breaking yeah. that window, somebody's going to have to pay for that. Uh, but they are attacking whoever shot at you, mm -hmm. so it's up to you. I mean, you can get at least one of them at advantage if you want to just go for broke on these guys. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, three murderous guys, three murder hobos, one might say. Um, <laughs> I'm... Nice. Uh, I, 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 so I do realize that they're not, they're not attacking me. They're, they're attacking that guy who hit me. Not yet. <laughs> so they are over. I'm going to, I, I go to reach for my flail. I realized that I dropped when I dropped it, I left it behind. So I mm -hmm. instead pull off a javelin and I spin my shield in. I wince for a little bit because it's across that shoulder that I have to pull it. And I, um, I channel. There's a moment where they would see if they were looking at me that really dark, burgundy energy lances across my eyes for a moment and it radiates down into the javelin and i'm going to basically activate my um wonder my, twin powers yes, <laughs> yes exactly uh -oh. sounds and like then, a smite coming up <laughs> <laughs> and then i'm going to yeah my so i uh i channel divinity for my sacred weapon and then i'm going to um step out to the one who's nearest to me and i'm going to try to come in behind him and try to attack attack one of the three murderous hobos <laughs> yes yeah whoever was the one in the back i i, I assume it'd be ingve then yeah. the last we'll, one we'll see one to two okay. three to four five to six i like it i like it it's ingve that's a three <laughs> <laughs> all righty and you said that was with advantage oh yeah okay okay one is a six the other one is a 17 17 plus four she's not plus four it's plus because it's not being thrown um 17 plus no it is it is four i have it right on my paper sorry it's going to be 21 to hit 
Okay. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> okay. Take. You guys are in with the wrong dude. Yeah, that's what he's gonna take. He's gonna. Take, uh, he's gonna take eight points of damage. Okay. Um, I want to just check to see if that sacred weapon, if it's radiant damage or. I'll see if it's a. Or just as I, oh, I had my charisma modifier. That's what that is. Okay, so um, it's not eight; it's nine. So um, yeah, he takes nine points of damage, and you all would notice that that purple, that deep maroon, burgundy type of purple energy, is illuminating out of it. So my weapon, you can tell, is glowing. And when I attack, oh jeez, not quite a divine, uh, divine smite, but um, yeah, does does we. Does we notice this exactly? Because uh, Ingve yeah. is right there. Probably Ingve, the part when Ingve Ingve went. When ah! my turn, I will yell out. <laughs> I've been stabbed. I've been stabbed. <laughs> Motherfucking paladins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's it. And so that does that does hit. And so I'm going to try to go ahead and, uh, well, you know, why not? These guys are pretty scary. I'm going to go. I'm going to smite this guy. Why not? Oh damn! <laughs> well, Ingve, so, it was good. To, to I'm going up. to yeah. I'm going to give up a spell slot. Radiant damage is. Um, I'll give up a first level spell slot. Says two d8 additional. So it was another five points of damage from the divine smite. Chihoy. Oh. Okay. So, uh, new round. Uh, Dave uh, and Azari perception check. Uh, 19. <laughs> okay. Same. 19. Uh, odd, give me an odd even roll. Even. Uh, even. Both of you notice a shine from across the street uh, as a metal object comes up and over that thing. Uh, everybody hears a crack. Two. Tall. <laughs> 19 on the roll. You are hit in the other shoulder. <clears throat> for 11 hit points of damage. Ooh, okay. Uh, to the party, pal. <laughs> dexterity, to, dexterity to hang on to your weapon. Sure. Uh, five plus one is a six. Very I good. I want that's, this guy's weapon. That's pretty low. <laughs> That's why he's like, I want that. <laughs> drop the uh, flail, drop the javelin. <laughs> man, a Zari sniping from a disc, that would be great. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dave, uh, threat in front across the way, threat behind. Yeah, but the threat behind hit Ingve. Correct. The threat behind is going to get rage. Okay. <laughs> and um, it's about to meet Chattelbane. The eternal battle. Barbarian versus paladin. Zealot, bar <laughs> zealot barbarian versus paladin. Uh, this can't go well. <laughs> right. I'm so excited I'm going to die on Murder Hobo tonight. <laughs> like a farting that is, space suit. Um... <laughs> Carpet? A sofa. A sofa. I don't, I, I don't know what a, a sofa is. I, I don't know what a, a sofa tray. is. <laughs> it is a dice tray. And in the middle of the dice tray, where the hell is it? And I can't, can't see, see anything. Up, <laughs> down. Up. Down. Down. The eyes turned Somewhere. invisible. Your other Damn left. It. No, right? Damn it. Right. Oh. Okay. Your military right. Damn it. Now we got to put a warning on for people who get, you know, scrolls and shit. It's another natural 20. Um, I love it. I love it. Does 26 hit your armor class, sir? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> In that case, I'm about to do you a shit ton of damage. As long as it's a shit ton, I'm okay with it. Yeah, <laughs> shit ton is good. Yeah. Uh, 
that's I've a rough got to athlete. check how much radiant I have to add to that. Oh, yeah, that's a D6. Let me grab a murder hobo for that. 2D12 plus a D6 plus, uh, what's my rage bonus? Two. Yeah. Uh, so that's, uh, okay, so that's nine and eight is 17 and six is 23 and then plus four for my strength is 27 and plus two for rage is 29. Hold on, let me get my abacus out. <laughs> so 29? Yeah, um, 29. six of which is radiant. Cool. Beautiful. Uh, anyway, 19. This cocksucking son of a bitch just stabbed you and it hurt like hell. But uh, fortunately, Dave, the angry barbarian, has smote the smiter, uh, right. and he crumbles out, to the ground. Out. <laughs> uh, there's a there's some movement, so you, you aren't sure if he's dead or not. Okay, all right. Finish him, want... Cobra Kai. <laughs> no, no retreat, no surrender. Put him Ingram's in a body bag, really, Johnny. Really <laughs> tempted, but you know, but. <laughs> Ingve has mercy. Oh, oh also, bass. also, another shot came from across the, the street. Oh, so that son of a bitch is still alive too. Right, right. I'll I'll reach down and try to verify whether he's alive or dead. So I will. Oh, you're so nice. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm don't fight, of, don't fight, I'm don't fight. Rick here at this moment. <laughs> Kill Bill Volume Two. Uh, they're they're not doing well at all. Azari, uh, threat across the street, threat behind you appears to be okay. Okay. Uh, I was sh- done. I will shout. He's down. Kill the one across <clears throat> the street, and I'll fire an arrow across that uh, guy again. Sure. With the sharpshooter. Oops, that's cocked again. Damn it! Come on, stay on the, stay on the mat, you stupid Ooh. piece of shit. <laughs> uh, that one is a. That's actually a twenty. No. A twenty miss. A twenty miss is because remember they are shooting from below now, so they have cover, not concealment. I ignore uh, <laughs> sharpshooter. Like sharp yeah. yeah. So I ignore three quarter. Yeah, I ignore half cover and three quarters cover. Mm-hmm. Oh, very you have nice. to be full cover for me to oh, yeah. screw that up. Oh, very nice. Go ahead. Okay. That will be six plus four is 10 plus another 10 for sharpshooter. 20 points of piercing damage. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Tall, or I'm sorry, yeah, tall. Death save. Oh yeah, okay. That's a twenty. Natural twenty. Uh, oh. The the warm embrace of Ingve's fingers uh, bring you back gently to the land of the living, and you blink, oil. and you you blink <laughs> you blink twice. Uh, new round. Stop! 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 In a crude common tongue uh, comes from across the street. Dave, you're up. Uh, You see this SOB blinking uh, after Ingve gently caresses his cheek. (laughs) (laughs) So Dave Dave thinks Ingve has healed him. Yeah, I would say that's a fair assessment. Now you got to kill them both. That's it. No, that's no. it. Kill them just... both. Everybody dies tonight. <laughs> Ingve's been turned. Eliminate Ingve. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. No, actually, that's going to drop my rage. Okay. Hmm. Can you do anything else besides drop your rage, yeah, or I is can... it all counting ten? <laughs> <laughs> I, I can look over my shoulder to Azari and do like. Sun's getting real low, big guy. <laughs> That's it. Nice. That's it. Uh, Ingve, you're up. I'm gonna kind of, as, as, as he says that, I'm gonna kind of like drop Cat Chattelbane and drag her behind me as I walk over slowly toward Azaria. <laughs> kind of disappointed. All right. All right. 
So, um, yeah, so Ingve pulls his scimitar <laughs> and holds it to oh, Thal's he's got a sword. Throat. <laughs> I didn't know oh, you yeah. had a sword, Ingve. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> he's got a sword as well as his quarter staff. Wow. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, I pull it, hold it to his throat, and he's just like, uh, he says to him, I don't know who you are, but you have made a grave error. <laughs> there, Azari. Oh, the guy said stop. He didn't shoot me, though. Correct. The guy across the street is yelling stop. Uh, Azari will... He will bring his bow down. He'll keep the arrow notched just in case this guy decides to uh, BS his way through this. Um, but he will... Uh, Azari will just yell out, Truce! Okay. Uh, Tal, uh, you are at one hit point. Mm -hmm. uh, this individual who is lightly caressing your cheek is talking to you. You do not understand what he's saying oh shit <laughs> to him to him it's just gibberish uh there are three foes uh dave has walked away upset kicking rocks being all mad and shit uh Ingve has a blade to your throat and azari uh is yelling out something that you don't understand right and i'm gonna say you're not gonna take me too i'm gonna die first I'm going to try to, uh, this is probably going to go very bad. I'm going to try to pull a javelin off of my back and try to stab this guy with a sword to my throat, stab him. Um, if I'm able to do that and cast Searing Smite, maybe. Is he at disadvantage because he's prone? He's going, to be, he's going to be disadvantaged at prone, and since Ingve is just holding the blade to your throat, he will still be able to act first. Uh, give me an intelligence yeah. check to see if you understand the potential there. Sure, sure, sure. Um, just straight intelligence check. Uh, it's a seven. Fuck it. That sounds like a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do that? Yeah. Uh, Ingve, you see the bloodied arm start to reach back to one of the tools on this individual's back. Okay. All right. Yeah, he's going to have to do a constitution check. 14. Is he? Save. 14. Constitution save. Uh, 14 on the die plus one, which is a 15. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> He's going to take half damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, a beam of light, five five feet, and it's going to come down. Wow, 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 Is it going to take him up to the pyramid? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm for a probing. He's, he's going to he's gonna take six radiant damage. Sure. Uh, he only had one, so it'll be mm. death save. Uh, give me a death save, Tal. Sure. Uh, two. Ooh, that's a fail. Yes, uh, new round. Emony. 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 Whatever that fucking word means. Okay, I, I have a guess. But um, it's Dave's turn. <laughs> <laughs> I have a guess what it is, but uh, I'm not going to tell anybody because it's not my turn. Uh, I've, hey. I've, I've walked up next to Azari and kind of Azari will note that I'm literally pouting. Uh, but but seeing that there's still something never, going never on, never get to kill the line, anybody anymore. Right. <laughs> Azari's still got an arrow on his string, so I'm going to pull a javelin out and just kind of ready in action to throw it if uh, shit goes south. Hey, remind me, uh, is, isn't there one more to your party? Well, Rock here. No. Um... Ingve? No, who's the guy oh! that you kept trying to kill? Uh... Oh, uh, yeah, oh, it's Peck Peck. Peck, Peck. Peck, Peck. Peck, yeah, Peck Peck's with you guys, right? I thought he stayed the hell away from me. I don't he, know if he was <laughs> still with us, was he? I can't remember. Oh, no, because he got he got uh, downed. Well, because he got downed when he was uh, 
back at the village. That's he right. Stayed with his. Yeah. He ended up staying with his people because he didn't want to get killed by us again. Yeah. That's that, right. Okay. That, that's right. Yeah. So yeah, Peck Peck is not in play. Okay. Uh, Dave has armed himself. Ingve. Uh, yeah. Peck would be dead by now. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, Ingve, uh, you're pretty sure you killed this guy this time. As you watch, the frothy blood comes up from the magical light. Uh, as you look at this individual, you get a cleaner look. Uh, it has kind of a snout like appearance. Uh, and there's just a singular horn right here in the forehead. Uh, about four inches, oh, I'm sorry, uh, about 12 inches long, uh, and it kind of curves weird. So I, that I is, thought that was nine inches. <laughs> yeah, that's 12. <laughs> is it to the left 12. or to the right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not like a banana. <laughs> is, it a, is it a shower or a grower? We, <laughs> <laughs> we may never know. Uh, so, Ingve, you see the blood. This guy is <laughs> probably not long for the, the world. What do you want to do? Okay. Uh, is, is he still on his death saves or? Uh, he'll be making another death save here. Okay. All right. Ingve uh, sees this and uh, he cancels the the light and bonus action. Wah, wah, uh, wah, wah, casts wah, wah, wah. healing word. Really? Mm -hmm. Dave, kill this fucker. <laughs> uh, Azari, uh, your turn. You have heard the words uttered by Ingve before. You know what he's trying to do. You also heard Emony, Emony, Emony. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, I will tell Dave. Dave, have your axe at the ready. You may be killing this individual. <laughs> <laughs> I pull out the rope, and since he's casting that, I'm going to start binding this creature's Ink. arms. Uh, this creature's arms together, like really right. unnecessarily tight. Sure. Okay. Uh, Ingve will have already cast Healing Word. How many hit points did you give back? Ingve? I choose who gets it, though. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Healing word. <laughs> so, so who are you giving it to? Myself. <laughs> and uh, yes. And him. <laughs> so, so yeah. So uh, he's only going to get like one D four, and I'm going to get one D four. So. Okay. How many D four does he get? Uh, just one. Uh, so uh, five points of healing. For him? Uh, he gets one. <laughs> okay. Uh, tall death save. All right. Seven. So it's another fail. Oh, yeah. Shit. That, that, that still hasn't closed up. Uh, okay. New round. Don't hear shit from across the way. Dave, you're up. Sorry. Just hold your axe at the ready. <laughs> and I, I say to do, do we want to take this prisoner alive? That's why I bound him. I didn't okay. think just to carry around a body for shits and giggles. Okay, we're no longer at initiative, Eight. right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, you are you are still on initiative. Oh, okay. All right. So I mean I, I had taken my action, so I can't do anything at this point. So what about the other asshole? <clears throat> Azari. We wait. Uh so I bound him. Is he? Did I bind him? Okay, I'll use my first action to cast uh, a uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, cure wounds on him. He gets uh, he gets six points of healing back. Sure, he is now conscious. He's and then just make wound. And then I will. Uh, I will pretty much um, mime since I couldn't. I don't know. I don't know if he speaks the same language. He's like, "Do not move, or you die." And I point to Dave, and I go like this, and point back to him. Uh, Tall, you here? <laughs> oh wait, he, 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 he's, not he's not an L. Yeah, he's not an L. You don't. Wait, oh, oh uh, the Ingve speaks Sylvan, but that's not similar to Elvish at all, is it? Uh, elves can speak Sylvan, okay. so you can do cross translation. Okay. Uh, I don't, 
I don't know what his language is. Tall, you pretty much understand the right shit. Uh, you also know that you are now bound. Uh, you're bound pretty tight too. Yeah. Uh, so there's not a whole lot you can do. I just give them a look of defiance, but clearly lean back and just go very calm. Well, calm as you could be, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, new, oh, new round. Uh, faint below you. Emony. Dave, what do you want to do? I'm, I'm following Azari's orders. I'm standing by with my axe. Ingve. Okay. Do I recognize the term Emony or anything like that? Probably not. You aren't near a C. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I, mean, I, I can see this book. person not understanding, so I'm going to try and speak in the languages that I know. And the sure. first one that I'll try is Sylvan. Okay. And uh, it's just like, um, uh, who are you? And state your piece. D12 against me, you've got to match my roll. Okay. Uh, well, he still doesn't know. Nope. Uh, still look at confusion on Bound Boy's face. Azari. Ingve's uh, uh, lost his fucking mind. I say you <laughs> two for one right here and just smoke them both. <laughs> <laughs> Ingve's gone off the deep end. It's final yeah. time. Um, <laughs> oh man, I sound like we're here. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so the other one said, "What did the other one say?" That we were like faint, Emony, or below. Emony. Looks like it's it, it's not across the street anymore. Okay, I'll go look over the edge, and is he is that creature there? D twelve against me. Okay. 11. Hey, uh, that creature is coming in the door below okay. you. Okay. Um, did I hear the language the uh, that the bound creature was speaking? Uh, well, you heard him talking. Okay. I know five languages, but I don't think... I'm guessing... Leonin, Draconic, Undercommon, or Deep Speech are not one of the ones he spoke. D12 against me. Okay. Got to match me. Okay. 10 again. 11. No, it, it's close, but it's a dialect off. Okay. Hmm. Uh, Tall. These fuckers have you at disadvantage. You are pretty much screwed. You're hurt. Mm -hmm. You're tired. You didn't get to eat your fucking crow. Damn it. <laughs> or that pigeon. I just stare at them. I just, I, I'm just looking at them. There's defiance in my eyes, but I'm not making any sort of physical movement at all. I know that if I do anything that they don't like, that they're going to go have the upper hand. So I'm not, they've got me dead to <laughs> rights, basically. I'm just sitting here in the moment. Okay. Footsteps on the stairs coming from the shed. Dave, you're up. I'm going to move towards those footsteps and put myself between them and the rest of my party. Ingve. Uh, I'm going to Dave cast that. wall of flesh. <laughs> 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 um, all right. Uh, I'm going to repeat what I said in Sylvan. And uh, as a Bonus action. Um, I'm just going to do that. I'm, I'm just going to repeat what I said in Sylvan. D12? Uh, nope, two. Okay. Azari. Uh, I'll just try and draconic, see if he understands. Who are you? I'll, no. I'll try it. Okay. Tall, they're mumbling shit. 
Uh, um, but at least, at least the big guy with the axe isn't standing over you. I like that. <laughs> yeah, you guys just see that. I just look at you in confusion. I, I just don't know what to make of you guys. I'm looking around, maybe expecting something to happen. I look maybe confused that I'm not dead yet. And just continue to sit there. The door bursts open on the shed, and out comes an individual dressed almost exactly like Tal. However, the cloak is pulled back, and this individual has two horns. It's carrying the silver tube item, yelling, Emony, 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 pointing down towards Tal. Dave, uh, what are you going to well, do? I'm holding my axe across like like you would an axe handle uh, if you were about to whack somebody. And mm -hmm. I say, hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> okay. Ingve, uh, the door flies open. There comes an individual dressed exactly like uh, the creature you have. Emony, Emony, Emony. Holding that silver fucking tube. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. Uh and do I see where the silver, the tube is pointed? Is it pointed to me or is it pointed to Tall. this guy? Yep. Okay. Um, I, um, I still have my scimitar out and mm -hmm. I'm going to raise my hand to the guy with the gun and I'm going to. Alleged gun. <laughs> alleged gun. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> with the, the boom, boom tube. stick. Yeah, the boom Dave tube. have gun. <laughs> so uh anyway so yeah i'm gonna hold my hand in a stop position and uh you know indicate that we have it under control <laughs> by pointing the scimitar at him yeah nothing, nothing says in control like menacing <laughs> well i mean uh, it's just like he's got the gun i'm uh, sorry the implement the or the tube pointed at that guy and i'm okay. You know, trying to stay his hand. So. Azari, the situation's extremely tense, except for Dave, who he not he doesn't really care who he's gonna kill. He knows he's gonna kill somebody today. Somebody's gonna get killed. Ingvid but, may be one of them. <laughs> but yeah, Bruce and his boomstick have just entered the place. Uh kind of moving it around Dave, trying to get a clean shot at Tall. Dave's just gonna go and while you've back and so Dave is dancing, Azari. What do you want to do? Okay. Uh, Dave is in point-click kill mode. Ooh, this is such a... Azari is going to walk up and uh, try and snatch the, gun, snatch the boomstick out of his hands. Oh, this is going to go well. <laughs> yeah. Now, just so you know, Dave is looking at new guy. Ingve, that's all. That's what I was thinking. Okay, is looking at new yeah. guy. That leaves tall bound. If you move away, tall's freebie. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will. That's what I was thinking too. In my mind, I was like, wait a minute, because if everybody focuses on that, tall's going to make a break for it. Probably, I'm going to stand over by tall. Uh, I'm going to pull out one of my short swords. Um, and. I'm going to pull out one of my short swords and look at him and just try and like just focus on is like trying to get in um, maybe use I don't know maybe use insight to try and tell to try and like convey to him like no more harm like no fight if I can in some way I don't know how since we don't speak the same language this is <laughs> this is fun so yeah I'm gonna try and use like, insight or something to try and tell him it's like um no harm safe uh give me a persuasion roll <laughs> second net 20 of the night <laughs> wow. uh 19. Close. Uh, new, or I'm sorry, tall. Uh, you're keeping an eye out. Uh, Dave's busy. Ingve's busy. Azari's distracted. You're still bound. You, you might, you might be able to make a break. You might be able to use a hidden weapon to try cutting the ropes. Uh, 
I mean, you ain't escaping this round. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and you know, <laughs> you know the fucker holding the gun. Yeah. That's the implement. The tube. Yes. The tube. <laughs> Man, I wasn't the only one. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm a. Uh... Let me check to see something more. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, why not? I'm going to uh, drop all of my lay on hands and okay. heal myself for 20 hit points. Nice. And then I'm going to, as that happens, I'm going to try to make a break for it. Hey, you are bound. Uh, Azari, did you go feet and hands or? Uh, no, I didn't hog time. I just went for hands. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're fucked. Uh, fair enough. New round. Uh, the individual holding the tube is hurt real bad. There's blood leaking out from everywhere. Faintly, he says, Emony, and falls to the ground. Oh, okay. That works. Dave, Ingve, Azari, Perception check. 17. Nat 20 plus 7. 27. Dirty 20. Something's moving away at a fast rate of pace behind you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, let me guess. (laughs) Uh, Before you do, tall, Mm -hmm. roots of escape are pitching over the side towards the street. Pitching over the side towards the alley, going through the window. Uh, oh, do, do it movie style, man. Yeah, I'm going to just John McClane this shit. I'm going to just dive right through the window and try to roll through and kind of just keep on running if I can. Dave, the bound individual is making a beeline for the open window where all that glass is, and he is hauling the mail. <laughs> Uh, how far he, he doesn't look nearly as hurt as you were led to believe. Can I intercept him? Uh, what's the movement speed for Tall? It's 30. What's the movement speed for Dave? 30. Uh, he's got about eight feet on you. <laughs> you got any uh, bolas? <laughs> uh, no, but I have another javelin. Ooh, All right. right in the ass. Right in the back. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Uh, that'll be a 23 to hit. Shield will still be on your back, Tall. Mm, okay. Might be pinned to his back. Uh, and that's going to be nine points piercing. Okay. Uh, I hope I got his attention. Uh, <laughs> I, I when, he, to... when he hits me, I want to activate my hellish rebuke. Sure. Ooh, there sure. is. As the spear hits me in the back, it finds a little crack in the shield. And it hits me between the shoulder blades. And there is a burst of fire that rages out of the hole and streaks across and just bathes over you. You yep. have to make a dexterity save. Oh, okay. Good choice. Let's let's 16. 16 passes by one. So you're going to take half damage. Almost half. like I'm raging. And I rolled 18, so you're going to take just nine. Okay. A uh, little, little math right there, but no problem. Okay. Uh, yep. There we are. Dave laughs at you very hard. Ingve. <laughs> nice. Uh, Dave you've got, likes this. <laughs> you've got I live for this shit. <laughs> at your feet, you got another one running. Okay. You, you hear Ingve whistle, and <coughs> boom, Direwolf bounds after him. <laughs> summon beast. Okay. I summon a spiritual beast. So Love it. Uh, Let's see. So how far I'm away can you him? summon that? Uh I can summon him 90 feet. Yeah. Where do you want to put him? On him. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. So uh let's see. Should I roll to attack or if or... you're gonna put it on him, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dave, how much damage did you do? Oh, nine. Got that it. will be a nat twenty. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Ouch. What you do is you summon the beast like 30 feet in the air from him and let it drop on him, and that's yeah, I mean, <laughs> summon an elephant if you're gonna do that. You should, have, you should have summoned him 
in the window so that he jumps into his mall. Oh, that's even better. Oh. <laughs> yeah. An elephant might have caused uh, footing issues for all of them. <laughs> right, you. right, right. Oh, man. Okay. What's a little fall damage amongst friends? So, so it has pack tactics. We're considered its pack, so... Oh, that's horseshit, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still uh, eight feet away, so that's so not within so five it's, feet. It's got advantage, so he can he can multi-attack. So, oh, sure. Jesus. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. But I got a roll for each attack, so it may or may right. miss. So. Well, well, you natural 20 right? Yeah, a natural 20 for it to hit him, so... Yep. Okay. All um, right. All right. Are so, we about to have a Pulp Fiction moment where, like, probably. I'm going to have to be Jules? Rump. English, <laughs> motherfucker, do you speak it? <laughs> English, exactly. Damn it, somebody, somebody bit Marvin in the yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> Say okay. one again. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. <laughs> there, there ain't no wolf you can call for this yeah. one. <laughs> okay. Five. Plus four is nine plus mm-hmm. half the spells level one, yeah. so ten. Ten that is a tasty damage. pigeon. Okay, next. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to roll for that attack. Uh, it is going to attempt to grapple since it's got uh, a hold of him. Okay. So, so. What's your strength? A tall roll yeah. for your strength. Good doggy, hold it. <laughs> Roll uh, strength uh, nine. Uh, strength for the, the the spirit beast is eighteen, so it's got a plus four modifier. Roll. Okay. Uh, that'll be uh seventeen. Seventeen. Uh, yeah, he's grappled. Okay. Yeah, and he's holding him. <laughs> Anybody's like, good boy. <laughs> he has found drugs on the individual. <laughs> <laughs> it's that meme with the Saint Bernard. Okay, Karen. <laughs> Azari, this dude is fucked up. Again, you still have a downed individual in front of you. So, yeah. you know, those two focused. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the downed individual and take the the boomstick since he was pointing it. Take that from him and odd even. Okay. Uh, odd. The wood is cool to the touch. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna. Then I guess I will uh, check him for check the. Uh, I'll, he's alive. He's alive. Mm-hmm. Okay, I will. Uh, Uno hit point. I will take the time to move that away from him, move the boomstick away from him, and uh, bandage up his. Show me your hands, motherfucker! Show me your hands! You kick his tube away. Yeah. And then I will. Um, Bang! <laughs> oh. Weird. Uh, and then check him for any other uh, check him for any other weapons. Uh, yeah, he's got a shitload of them. Yeah, I'll just start like tossing the weapons away as I find them. Tal, uh, you have a spiritual dog biting you in the ass, and you, I think, have one hit point left. Yeah, fun stuff. <laughs> this is a tasty pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, all done yet? Man. Uh, your three herbs and spices <laughs> <laughs> that is it um, I don't oh and you're grappled by the way so <laughs> you you can try and defeat the grapple again if you'd like yeah i'll just try to break free i i'm just in flight fight or flight mode and i'm <laughs> flight sure. right now Kyle and Ingve, roll. There you go. <laughs> go ahead and roll off with your modifiers okay Natural one, uh, which makes it a three total. <laughs> 12 plus, uh, let's see, four, yeah, 16. So. Uh, the drug sniffing dog has uh, confirmed that you're you are, anywhere. you're holding, you are holding, pal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. You can try and attack it if you want. 
Um, sure. Well, my hands yeah. are still bound, so I mean, well, you can punch it. Okay. Use, it, use the force, Luke. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, hey, you know to... what? Wrap your head around it, and yeah. <laughs> there we go. Put my hands up over and start choking it. Yeah. That's right. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. So rolling to attack. Um, I'm just adding just base strength because I don't have a weapon. Mm-hmm. Okay. So seventeen. One d four plus uh, strength modifier. Four plus two. Uh, four points. Uh, Steve, the dire wolf spiritual dog, takes four hit points of damage. Yeah, it's still it's still up. Two round, bitch. <laughs> uh, Azari, you're picking this fucker clean, uh, and he looks at you. Give me an insight check. Uh, nat twenty plus five, twenty-five. And uh, me. And uh, me, Dave. I got, uh, that. I got you, that portion. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You throw the javelin into this guy's shield. Uh, Casper, I'm, your friendly drug I'm, dog, is on I'm, him. I'm really pissed. So Dave's raging as he walks toward him. Overhand. Oh, that's going to be a 22 to hit. Dave uh, Buford Pusser. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, and just for fun. <clears throat> Uh, that's going to be 14 slashing damage and Ooh. six radiant damage. Oh. But the head of your enemy comes off as tall, loses his shit all over the place. Oh, no. At this point in time, initiative oh. is off. <laughs> and I'm looting the corpse. Azari... The individual looks up at you, and with your insight roll, that was the enemy. The guy says, tall, friend. Who was the enemy? The other guy. The dead guy. The dead guy? (laughs) The dead guy. The headless man. If if you've seen Silverado, the dead one. Gotcha. <laughs> Got it. Okay, I will. Uh, buy and all, all you hear is ah! <laughs> as Dave goes ape shit on the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. I'll start binding this uh, guy's wounds. Then. Okay. This guy has two horns, I assume. Correct, mm-hmm. Paul. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as, as you're helping him, tall, tall. Azari. Bless you. (laughs) Yes, I am a black sheriff. (laughs) And we are salt of the earth. (laughs) Uh, So, after Dave finishes, uh, Dave, you're going to find a variety of items on this thing, uh, including the head, which just has the single curved horn. He is not a unicorn. Uh, Ingve, are you with Azari or are you with Dave? Uh, I, I just saw what Dave did, so I call Steve to my side and <coughs> walk back to Azari. <laughs> Dave's got this in hand. <laughs> Dave's wrapping that head up in a nice piece of cloth and shoving it into his bag. Uh, Dave, you find. You know those things, those red things with the copper tip? Yeah. Roll a D8. Okay. Oh, six. You find six of those uh, shoved in a small pouch. Uh, You also find round yellow coins. Uh, There are about 25 of those. Okay. You you also find a pliable rectangle of... whitish ivoryish thing is it hard or soft or eh, well it's up on the roof so it's it's pliable uh so it's it's you can bend it a little bit it smells kind of different you aren't sure what, what it is it, i kind of rub it it's eh, it's okay doesn't smell bad no. i'll put it in the bag with the head and okay. the twenty five and twenty five yellow monies. 
Yeah. And you find a, a metal item about this big, and it has copper, oblong copper pieces shoved in it. And when you push down on it, they go down, but then they spring back up. Hmm. You have no idea what it is. It's a Pez dispenser. <laughs> in the form of Richard Nixon. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over to Atari <laughs> with that and be like <laughs> the fuck. Uh Tal, uh you've had your wounds bound. You were now four hit points. Uh you can speak to a limited capacity. Right. You can understand these guys as they are talking back and forth. Not real good. It, not like you're from Alabama and your speech sucks. <laughs> Sorry, Alabama folks. Uh, they know it's true. It's okay. Well, hang on. I'll, I'll say Louisiana because that's where Dave's from. <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah. not wrong. He's not some hick from the swamp, but you're uh, not wrong. <laughs> you can Florida understand. Florida Panhandle, anyone? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I'm Randy Daytona. Uh, <laughs> Tallahassee. You guys can get south down to Tallahassee. Yeah, Tall, you can understand them. Mm -hmm. What you've told Azari, and, and you recognize a Leonid, uh, okay. you know you've gotten your point across, but you haven't opened up the dictionary to spout scripture to them. So... As, as far as you and Azari know, you two can communicate on at least a rudimentary level. Uh, Tall, you can pretty much follow everything they're saying. So you okay. may let on to that, or you may hold your cards close to your vest. So, okay. no initiative. Azari has bound the wounds on this guy, Emony, Emony, Emony. Oh, uh, who wants to do what? Uh, Dave, Azari has stripped Tal of all his weapons, and they're kind of semi-circled around. <clears throat> they have plenty of weapons. Yeah, now that you've stripped them all off the other dude. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, you also got a pocket knife. <clears throat> rope around a bundle of weapons <laughs> so uh you guys are now all together uh i kind of did it weird because initially i was gonna have uh kevin be on the same roof as you and then because i'm a dick uh i thought oh i have a much better idea so up until that point Kevin thought he was on the roof with you as him. <laughs> yeah, nice. that was very yeah, I got surprised yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, so so that that's me being a smart ass. So yeah. Uh, stuff, though. yeah, you guys are all on the roof together. Uh Tall has had the shit kicked out of him. Tall knows how to operate a shotgun with deer slugs. <laughs> uh tall. You will know that this son of a bitch uh, and his friends whacked some of your party members, and that's why he was dressed like you. Mm -hmm. And that's why you knew he's the enemy. Uh, you may share that with the other three, or you may, again, uh, play water boy and just pretend you don't understand these guys. <laughs> so those I, are your choices. Yep. I'll look up at the Leonin. I tall and I gesture around and I say mayo and then I look like I'm looking for the right kind of words and I point to the dead man enemy you know that he is the one from your background by the way yeah not anymore <laughs> <laughs> he killed my people I am left uh, Azari will not anymore <laughs> here we go 
It was a good life, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Uh, Let us embrace, <laughs> brother. <laughs> uh, Azari will. Um, Azari will not <coughs> cast any healing spells because he still doesn't know this person, and obviously we were fighting a mere moments ago. Uh, oh, you're a uh, selfish dick. <laughs> <laughs> or a cunning battle master. Um, uh, since I don't know this guy. Okay, uh, Zara will go <clears throat> tell him it's like um, he'll look at him and he'll uh, he'll try a different language other than common since he seems to be he'll try Leonin and says is this easier, friend? Uh, he has uh, an acceptable level of knowledge. He will not have he will not have mastered it. Well, you know what? Uh, tall D12 against me. Sure. Eight. Four. Uh, he will not have a mastery over it, uh, so he'll be able to speak it like I speak French. Uh, I know how oh, to it's... order orange juice in a room. Got it. Um, so. so he will... Uh, he'll you can't get beer in a bathroom, you're in trouble. <laughs> he'll, he'll see the kind of look on his face and stick with common and go safe. No battle. I put my hands up. Safe. Weapons down. Well, no shit. Your weapons are everywhere. Uh, the card at Tanagra. <laughs> <laughs> and the walls fell. Yeah. He'll uh, hand him. He'll hand him it. jerky. Bana weep gra weep niniban. Exactly. Awesome. Um, but yeah, he will. Uh, Azari will kind of like, as he's sitting there, kind of like start putting his weapons back near him. And uh, just let him know that uh, just Azari, and then he points to Dave. Dave. And then Dave, he hi. Over, then he points over at Ingve. Ingve. I will nod to each of them in turn, and then I'll look out towards the north. You had another. Who left that way? That point to the north. Uh, Ingve kind of hangs his head down and it's just like, yeah. that guy still owes me money. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, he just says, you know, it appears, you know, Rakir has left us. Dick. <laughs> Dick. Yeah. So. And I'll point to myself. Move. <laughs> I'll point to Tall. Point to himself and say he ghosted us. I ghosted us. I will say, um, I with I'll hold up six fingers. I don't say the word six. I just hold up six fingers and say others. And I close up my hands and I will point to myself again and say, I am now one. So, uh, Azara, look at everybody, Dave and Ingve. Dave, since you can't count, this asshole over here, the one you killed, killed his okay. entire family, clan, whatever they are. And that now made Dave are... even happier. <laughs> Corporate misgiver. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, he will look at, uh, and so maybe we take on this tall as a uh partner for now in this area he did only target the other guy that's true yeah he didn't shoot us and he he was apparently a pretty good shot <laughs> uh -huh. um you are not the dead who walk i will travel with you against them that works and that sounds like a good place to stop. It's never easy to introduce a new player. Oh, man, that was awesome. Jackass. That was intense. That was intense. <laughs> uh, Jesse, what would you think? That was pretty good. I was uh, very confused as he was on the opposite roof shooting us. And I was like, man, I am. This other guy is ballsy for. Uh, <laughs> it felt like, what's that? What was that movie um, with. Uh, 
Dennis Quaid and Louis Gossett Jr., where they were, uh, where oh, he was the alien. Enemy mine. Yeah, oh, enemy yeah, mine. Enemy yeah. mine. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was feeling like right here. It's like we don't understand yes. anything that's yes. going on, and yes. everybody's confused. It feels like enemy so mine. So good. Except it was we're, so good. Except yeah. we're still trying to kill each other. And yeah, let's hope, I, let's I hope it. Tall doesn't get pregnant. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> already is. Uh, right, yeah. Oh. Yeah. David, what'd you think? I I enjoyed it. It, it was a little disorienting, but I mean, it, it, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Yeah. I uh, it. Kevin, welcome to the group. What'd you think? Thank you so much. I loved it. I um, yeah, as you said, getting a new person in is always bizarre, but I thought that was such a crazy way. And yeah, as he was saying, I found out in the moment that I was not that guy. I thought I was that guy up until you guys started yeah. fighting, and then I was like, oh, okay. So <laughs> that makes that it even cool. more awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a really cool turn of events. And uh, yeah, yeah, the uh I like it. The broken English thing is gonna be a fun thing to play. I like that. I like that. Very cool. Yeah. So yeah, good I, stuff. It, originally, I was going to stick to the plan that I was messaging with you, and then I thought, well, let's have some combat. Yeah, and I'm just going to let you run with it and screw you over. Yeah, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> uh, and I, I thought it worked well. So uh, well, it was funny because I could tell that they were all like, "Oh man, we can't kill this guy because he's the new party member." Yeah, uh, they were real hesitant about that, and I'm like, yeah, mm, yeah, man, yeah, "He's going to kick your ass then." <laughs> Yeah, it's fun. Well, it was fun. I was just, I really just didn't want to start killing everybody. I wanted answers before I started killing everybody. Yeah, that was the thing. Yeah. You mm. pussy. Well, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm not Rakir and I just murder everyone. I was about to say, yeah, I'm not Rakir, pussy. Yeah, and I'm not Dave. And, and I'm not Dave and I murder people because I'm angry at the moment. Scott, <laughs> Scott is sitting in Texas right now. Three Jose Cuervos into it. Yelling, you should have just fucking killed him, man. <laughs> Take his uh, eyes. Take his eyes. <laughs> Rob, Rob what would you think? It was a blast. I think that's probably definitely in the top three character introductions into a campaign. I, that's oh, just yeah. amazing. Mm-hmm. And uh, Couldn't have done it without you guys. I admire your skills, sir. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was awesome. That was a beautiful yeah. plot twist. And, and yeah, Kevin, we- welcome to the yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Thank, welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. It's going to be great. To our mess. <laughs> Folks, no, uh, this, has been, this has been Murder Hobo Link, the Calamity Edition. We hope you enjoyed it as much as these guys did. Uh, don't forget, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit, join our Discord. Uh, if you want to buy our crap, the link is down there. Uh, don't forget, if you need more dice, at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. And if you want to make your game smell as strategically delicious as this was, oddfishgames.com with their adventure sense over 60 of them <laughs> kevin go ahead and pitch that uh pitch your podcast one more time for me please. sure oh, sure yeah. sure yeah i uh, i'm the host and the game master of the game night heroes podcast we play a bunch of different games right now we're finishing up a DD arc and then uh season two is coming in february we're gonna do lots of fun stuff some uh good stuff coming up so uh yeah and i'm glad to be here you can find me online at kev ran games on twitter instagram all that fun stuff and uh yeah happy to be here Thanks, Frank. Uh, Thanks, everybody. Folks, don't forget, uh, Murder Hobo Con. Uh, the badges go on sale on Monday. Event submission is still open. We've got a lot of cool events going on. Uh, the venue's almost complete. And I think we're going to have a walkthrough for everybody who's interested. That way you at least get to see what we're talking about and why it's so cool. Other than that, no Margu campaign tomorrow. We're still going to hold off. Uh, and then we're going to go back to Margu A. Uh, so they are still in the rift. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we appreciate your time. Uh, catch us uh, online. And if you want to join us sometime, hit us up, uh, mhobo Inc., Gmail or Twitter. Uh, as always, let's give them the great big dating game kiss and hug and get the heck out of here. Bye, everybody.